Okay guys, in this video I will be showing you guys how to go up against every type of player in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I am pretty decently high up in the ranks and I do know a decent amount of uh, this game. So I'm going to show you guys how to verse against uh, people that spam like, for example, perceptions, evasions, or like every um, fighting type. This video is pretty lengthy so I'm going in depth with like most of everything. I'm going to teach you guys how to do stuff. And so... I'm really making this intro because I really want to start up a world tournament, so I might host a tournament uh, on um, Sunday. So Sunday, uh, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., I am going to be hosting a tournament. It's going to be PC because I don't uh, play on PS5 or I don't play on um, Xbox. So if you guys want to get into the tournament, uh, just straight up put your gamer tag, like uh, this uh, Steam gamer tags, down below or um, your Discord. I'm probably going to uh, make a. a discord group chat with every um person that's in the sparking zero world tournament so you guys could talk while you guys fight each other so yeah um i'm gonna get started into the video hopefully you guys enjoy so the first thing we're gonna be going over is people that spam guard this is probably the easiest one to deal with so the first way we could deal with this is just um grab so on playstation is um r1 and square and if you're playing on xbox that's rb and um x you could also practice this on the, you know, uh, on the battle training. But the thing is that uh, I see that, like, the battle training doesn't really show everything. It shows you how to do certain things. It just doesn't uh, teach you how to apply it. So, yeah, that's one way we could deal with someone that's guarding. Uh, you could follow up with this. So, uh, guarding isn't, like, uh, grabbing isn't a bad thing in this game. Because if you grab them, you can either follow up with, you know, you know, just straight up hitting them. Uh, which is a triangle on PS5. It's a follow-up where you just vanish and you hit them. And on Xbox, that's Y. And so what you could do is like something like this. And then combo into... Uh, sorry. It, it didn't, uh, didn't work perfectly, but you, you get the point. It, it would work normally, but uh, uh, I put the input uh, inputs kind of slow. So you can either grab into that or you could just grab into your special move. So we're going to do this. This is a safer way, because the thing about um, when you, you're vanishing striking, if you play at a high lobby, they're going to vanish you back, and it really becomes uh, a vanishing strike contest to see who could vanish the most. So yeah, you could do that if you want to just get actual like damage damage and not have to worry about trading vanishes with somebody. So that's a, uh, that's a really good way to deal with it. it just Sometimes you got to get really close to do it. And it, it, it isn't the best, but it definitely works. And another way to deal with them is to just sidestep and then combo behind them. This is really good because it gives you a really good setup. Because it becomes very hard for them to sway perception and just do anything against you when you're comboing them from the back. So that's why guarding isn't the best thing for them to do. The way you do this is if you're on PS5, uh, side side um, joystick into X. And then when you're behind them, just press uh, square the whole time. So... So, uh, joysticks are right or left X at the same time and then attack if you're playing on console it's side A and then um, X the whole time to just attack so this is really good you could just combo up with this if you want and then you know get really good damage off and they really can't do anything and I, I find this to be really good because every time you turn an opponent around it's just insanely good and so that's two ways to deal with it this is another way to deal with it um, this is is also pretty good but this has a lot of counterplay to it so spam um square and then you could vanish behind them but the thing is that this is ai so it's not going to allow me to do it because it's like perfectly doing um perfectly uh, guarding and so the way you do that is just spam square and then r1 if you're playing on xbox it's spam x rb and then you teleport behind them this usually works against players that are just holding it the whole time but if you're going up against ai or someone that really knows how to play then they will know how to deal with this and this is going to be i'm going to use this later on in my video to deal with um vanishing targets and so another way to deal with them and this is another vanishing um move is uh you could vanish behind them like that and the way you do that is uh square and x at the same time if you're playing on playstation and if you're playing on xbox it's uh x and a so all you have to do is um do that and you could combo it up you want to be in front of them though and then you could literally just combo it up completely, do whatever you want. You could either do that or, you know, like I did before. Oh my god. Yeah, this is what I meant to do. You could just um, combo it into a special move, which is really good. So, these are like a couple ways to just, you know, get a lot of damage off on anyone that's trying to like play cheese. And so, guarding, uh, we're going to be going over, like, we're done with guarding. Guarding is the, like, least 
I guess, least annoying and it's very easy to deal with even for beginner players, but I'm going to be going over all the things. So the next thing is uh, perception. The thing about uh, dealing with people that use perception is that um, perception is very annoying, especially if you don't know how to fight against it. But uh, a lot of things that work for the guard works for perception. You just got to see when they're using perception. And so let me just find perception right here. Yeah. Um, so he's not really going to stay on perception for a lo uh, long time. So uh, one way to deal with it is key blast into straight up like hitting him. Uh, this allows it because the thing is that perception doesn't really work on key blast. So you're going to uh, like stun him off it and then, you know, go for hits. So right there, he was holding it. But the thing about that, it's really good. I use, I use a lot of rain. But the thing about that is they usually sway because they're spamming circle or B so much that uh, once they're able to do perception again, they're going to do it just so um, they get you. So you could do it once and hit them and it will probably most likely work because they're not going to probably react that fast. Or if you really want to like play with their marbles, just spam the shit out of it and then go for attack. But that, that usually happens. So you want to keep it to one if you want to just, you know, go into a combo and bypass their perception you see here i'm able to do it to vegeta as much as possible whenever he does have his per perception us uh, up so um ano another way to deal with it a lot of things that work for guard really work for per perception too so you could just dodge and end up behind him like that oh, oh yeah for anyone that doesn't know how to do key blast it's triangle or on your, if you're playing on xbox why so you just press it once and then combo up on them but the thing is that yeah, they could sway it, but if you keep it to one, they're most likely not going to sway it. They uh, can't. They're going to be hit stun. And then another way to deal with them is just uh, dodging behind them and just hitting them. But the thing about this is that if they see you do it a lot, they're going to like start to catch on to it and just uh, like press it, like spam circle the whole time just to stop you from doing it. Because uh, every time you dodge, your character realigns. So if I'm holding it like this and the guy ends up behind me, I have to repress it to realign. But you see, it takes a while. So if they're like literally pressing it nonstop, it takes a while for it to happen. So it's very hard to deal with people that dodge and get behind you. Another way to deal with them is same thing with the guard, X and square at the same time. And you basically just end up behind them and do the same, uh, same thing. Uh, and that's basically it. That's the main ways to deal with people that spam perception, but it's really good. Perception is very annoying when you're dealing with it, uh, when someone's spamming it, but there's a lot of ways to work around it. You just gotta catch it, because even knowing these tips, you still, this game is a very, uh, reaction-based game, so you need to react to a lot of these things. And that's basically it for, um, perception. Okay, so the way to deal with enemies that vanish is literally when they're about to hit you, press R1. This is hard to do. Um, you're not going to get it every time, but you could practice it and it will become muscle memory. And this is probably the hardest one to do because usually when they get you in a combo where they like, oh, when they like lift you up like that and then they keep on hitting you, you kind of know what to react for. So that's a lot easier to deal with than this. So it's all the same thing when they vanish. You want to press R1 at the right time and then there you go. Because when they're doing that, it's a lot easier. It's the same thing with every type of vanish where you do R1 and then you vanish. It's the same thing. You just want to press R1 at the same time. And that's really the way you deal with vanishing. I'm sorry there isn't like a uh, cheese method. You could try to key blast them out of it. So let's see if we could do that here. We can't really do that unless they're using uh, like, you know, hitting and then they R1. But even then it doesn't really work. So the only way to really deal with it is, you know, reaction. So we're going to... Yeah, there we go. Uh, one tip is wait until they reappear. Don't press it too early when they vanish. I know a lot of people are like uh, too trigger happy. They're going to see it and then they're going to try to um, press R1 right there. And then that's going to just lead to you getting slapped up. So right there, I did a little too um, late, but I, I think you guys got the idea right there. So you want to wait until they appear behind you. And especially when they're about to go for a strike. And that's how you could get, uh, get it off. And so that's the way you deal with anyone that's using vanishing. So we went over guarding people that spam perception and people that um use vanishing. So uh, let's just okay. So the next type of like players to deal with is um people that spam heavy attacks. So that's it right there. It usually leads you into stun, which is like um really annoying. Or people that just straight up uh end it with a heavy, like ender combos with heavies, which is the right way to play. Like right there. The way you want to play against that is if you're blocking the whole time, wait until that happens and then perception it. The thing is, I can't really get the AI to do it, so 
I can't really uh, show you guys uh, that here. Let me see if I can. Okay, so I couldn't really get the AI to do it um, training. So you guys are going to have to use your imagination for just a little bit. So what I'm going to be showing here is, you know, when you, uh, the person just uh, spamming square and then they go into heavy attack. So basically the way you want to deal with that is literally just hold circle. You want a perception at the right time. The way you know they're about to like do a heavy attack is um, when they're pressing square and when their character gets outlined with uh, white. So I'm going to show it here. So you see how he gets outlined with white for just a sec. And it's usually a lot slower than the other attacks. Like um, here when I pr attack, it's a lot faster. But when I you know get that heavy attack out it's slower if they hold on to it that's gonna break your guard but all you have to do is press circle at the right time and that's it like if i block here i don't it doesn't go through because he isn't holding it but you basically hold it and then when you see it coming out you just check him for that and that's basically it okay guys so i'm gonna be showing you guys like a really good move like i a lot of like newer players don't know how to do this um, but uh it's when you dragon rush and you teleport right behind them i'm gonna show you guys how to counter that but the way you want to do it like uh standard is hold r1 uh r2 i mean and then press x twice if you're playing on ps5 uh, if you're playing on xbox hold your trigger your right trigger and then um, press a twice and you're just going to teleport behind them it's really good only wastes two bars wait hold up i gotta make sure a uh, waste is one bar it's actually so good um this allows you to close the gap really fast with someone that's trying to go into sparking it's by far one of the best ways to catch up. I think it is it is the best way to catch up. So the, that's the way you um, do it. It's really hard to counter, but I'm going to show you guys how to counter it. So I can't really get the AI to do that for me. So the way you want to deal with it is one, when they're doing it, you can literally just spam X the whole time when you suspect they're going to do it. And there's a good chance you're going to end up behind them, which is probably the best way to deal with it. That's the way I deal with it. And it's really good because you usually end up either um, behind them or if you don't end up behind them, your character is automatically going to block. So that's really good because it, worst case scenario, you're blocking and you're ready to percept them. Best case scenario, they're punching and you're, you have uh, their back to give them back shots. So that's uh, quite literally the best way to deal with that. It is really good to use it. So even though uh, you could counter it, it is like really good because you could just... Uh, if they're if they are dodging, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to counter a counter a counter. So um, if they dodge, all you have to do is like not attack and just wait until the dodge goes up, or you could just grab them off the dodge. So be wary of that if the person's going behind you and he sees that you're dodging a lot. Usually they don't notice it, and you could literally do a whole game and they will. Uh, you could three stock them, and they still won't notice what you're doing, and they're just gonna be frustrated. That's a really good way to deal with it another really good way to deal with it is just spam on key blast you spam key blast if they teleport behind you your character is gonna snap his neck and key blast the shit out of them leading you uh into comboing them it doesn't work sometimes if you uh leave a gap in your key blast so what i mean by that is like sometimes you're on um, blasting and then you re-blast if they catch you in that gap of where you're not on um, blasting your uh key blast they are gonna end up behind you and they're gonna give you back shots so yeah that's the way you want to deal with that it's a really good move to use overall and so i'm gonna show you guys um a little bit of combos that you could do against certain players there's a lot of people that use perceptions a lot so the way you want to deal with people that use like our perception spammers is um just straight up either hit them into vanishing they could vanish through this but if the person's not good at vanishing this is by far one of the best ways to like just completely dog a person and uh skill check them but if they know how to vanish honestly the best way to um deal with a person like person that percepts mid combo if they're blocking uh, and ready to percept just literally dodge to the side and just combo them and you could get their back if your character allows you to um what's it called turn the character around to give them back shots then do that uh let's see i'm gonna actually just go to a character that could do that right now so gogeta is able to do it i think um goku god could also do it but um we're just gonna go into Gogeta right now because I just like Gogeta. So we're gonna just go to Gogeta. The reason why my Vegeta's uh, Vegito is fucking a uh, can tool is because I don't like uh, Vegeta. Ve Holy shit, Vegito! I like um, Gogeta a lot more just because of, like how fast it attacks and just the combos you could get off of Gogeta. And I just like Gogeta as a whole. So um, so if you attack. Let me see what it was. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, okay, yeah. 
So one, two, three, and then you could just turn them around. That's how you do it with Goji. Uh, like there's a lot of characters that have that ability to do that. So let me just set um, Vegeta's health to max right here. So yeah, you could turn or turn them around and give them back shots. So when they're facing you, um, and you have a feeling that they're gonna perception you, you could just turn their back, but they could perception that. That's a bad part about that. So that's why I suggest just um, when you're blo they're blocking you caught into hitting them, just dodge and just hit them to like the side or the back. It's the best way to deal with that. And if they don't know how to vanish, just spam vanish on them and that's basically game over. If they like vanishing and they don't really know how to do perception, if they're really anticipating um, vanishing, then you um, mix what heavies. So that's um, for PS5, that's square, 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 um, triangle, or square, 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 triangle. Depending on what character you play, they have a lot of uh, different, uh, like, not finishers, but they're really like combo sending. So you don't want to do the same one over and over again because your uh, character will actually end the combo. So yeah, you see, I was I did the one where I kicked twice, back to back. So um, you see, and as long as I mix them up, uh, I could keep the combo going for like a while. So uh, at first, I, for anyone that's wondering, for Gogeta, I did square, square, triangle, square, 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 triangle, and then square, 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 triangle again, and then you're able to get the 20 hit combo. You could do square triangle, square square triangle, and then square 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 triangle. Oh my god. It's very hard to keep up because you gotta make sure you don't use the same amount of squares before doing the triangle. Because if you do the same attack twice, you're gonna um, leave that open. But a really good combo to do. Uh, those are probably the best people to go against. The people that don't know how to use perception. But in any high rank, they're always gonna be spamming perception. So you're not really gonna string a very big combo. So the best way to pe uh, deal with that... Um, is getting behind them and make the like combo short and sweet so i i know i said don't use the same triangle again but that's if they don't know how to percept that they know how to percept or they just know how to counter you really want to end the combo as quick as possible so you can follow up with a special move so what i mean by that is um if you could get behind them and then you combo them like this so i did the kick so i'm aiming for the kick again right there 10k damage boost this combo Best way, absolute best way to like deal with these little shitters that like doing this. And so you see with that tiny little combo, I was able to get 21k damage. That's insane damage. I know I am doing this with Gogeta, but you could basically do this with every other character. This is really good in higher ranks. This is probably the best way to deal with people in higher ranks. You always want to end up behind them. So you could either turn them like that and then um, combo them up, you know, using the same move again. And then doing this or you want to uh what i like about gogeta is it's very hard to percept the kicks because they don't really know where the combo ends because the all strings so well and they're anticipating a vanish so that's why i really like gogeta so yeah and so like the way you want to deal with a perception is if you're doing it through key blast you want to um your key blast and then turn them around and then hit them with the like top kicks or just try to use the same heavy move again so you could get that set up and if they're uh, percepting you and you don't want to use key blast, just get that turn on them. And you're able to eat their ass like that. And that's basically it. You do insane damage. This is really good against for uh, against people that use perception. I really already taught you guys how to deal with um, people that guard. But if you guys want to see um, some combos you could do on anyone that's holding guard, I'm going to show that right now too. So this is kind of like the comboing stage. All the comboing is uh, like comboing is kind of the same when it comes to all characters. Uh, it just matters of what type of moves they're using because there's a heavy ender where uh, you got punch them and then they, um, you know, bend over. The thing about that is that's very easy to percept. So I don't really use it unless I'm giving back shots. And so, uh, what am I? Yeah, I'm just gonna put him into guard. And so that's why you don't want to end it with this because if uh, if you end it with holding um, your heavy. Uh, they could just perception it and it's gonna lead them into a combo. So the way you want to deal with uh, people that are guarding is either grab them, and what you could do is vanish and to vanish and to stomping them onto the ground, and then using this. Usually when you're playing online, you're, you're gonna be in the air and that will be a true combo. But just because this is AI, it's gonna get up and guard right away. The thing is that you really always want to use your special moves when a person's getting knocked away from you or is on the ground laying down. Best way, that's the best time to attack them with your special moves to get massive damage. And so, um, another way to deal with them is again, just do this. 
and uh, oh my god i kind of messed it up oh yeah and the thing is that they don't know how to do variant um blocking so what that means is look you're able to guard up and down so the way you do this oh my god i'm not teaching you guys a lot uh i forgot to teach you guys this for anyone that's wondering how to do the vanish thing where i um so I'll stomp them on the ground just press circle as you're vanishing into them so uh uh you know hold up let me just do that again so holy frick so you see I triangle instead of pressing triangle again I just circle and you're able to uh, that can't be countered so that's really good to do um, if you're playing on Xbox just press B when you're supposed to best uh, press Y and so and, um so if you're playing with a noob straight out the womb and then he doesn't know how to high guard or low guard so the way you do that for anyone wondering left joystick up while you're holding R1 so when you're blocking go up with your left joystick and that's how you high guard low guard is this usually i go for perceptions i don't really care about the uh these guards but if they don't know how to do this and they're guarding and if your character has a high kick variant you could just combo that and it's like insane damage and then you could just combo with something like this and that's a true combo this guy is meant to guard so you're able to get really i did time it kind of late so it's not gonna show all the hits made together but honestly if you get it something like that you actually do more damage because I'm pretty sure if you get a lot of hits, I'm not sure if it's with this game, but if you get a lot of hits, they start scaling your damage down so you don't fucking one-shot somebody, but I don't think that, uh, that's in this game. So yeah, that's how you, uh, th that's, uh, there's a lot of ways to deal with guard, um, people that block. The thing about this is that even though you guys might know, uh, at least, like, I'm explaining all this, there's a lot more to the game, it's a lot of, like, just straight-up reaction. The thing is that reaction speed's probably key in muscle mem uh, memory. Because if you're fighting somebody, you got to learn how to mix and match. When you're first thing, people are at high levels. You really want to end your combos as quick as possible to get that um, special move off. Just to get the most out of your damage. So, And so, I'm going to show you guys again. Like, if you're playing against high level people that really know how to percept and know how to block and just straight up cock block you. What you want to do is just end the combos quick. So, you want to use things where it was used but, uh, like before, like the same ending so you see that top kick i'm doing what gogeta it's actually a uh, heavy finish and so you want to just do that into um something like a special move and then you could get insanely massive damage so 21k is about half a um 5 dps uh health bar so yeah that's basically it for the vid if you guys really want me to go in depth with combos or if i learn more i might make another one of these how to deal with every type of player and um dragon ball sparking zero then uh yeah if this video gets enough likes and stuff, I might just, like, actually show me playing, um, ranked or, you know, starting up a tournament for any of you guys that want to, you know, play in the tournament. I really want to do that. It's just that it's very hard to set up. But if you guys are down to be in my tournament, uh, and I, like, me host it, I'm going to be uploading it. And, uh, just put your gamer tags down below and I'm going to, you know, hit you guys up, telling you guys the time of the tournament. I might live stream it. I don't know. My PC is kind of dookie shit. So, we're, I'm going to have to see about that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like and sub, and uh, thank you guys for watching.